This tutorial will show you how to set up the web interface feature of Inventoria. The web interface, or the web access feature, can be accessed online from any location, including any computer or mobile device with internet access. Using this feature is helpful for businesses that need to give multiple users access to the same data, or for businesses that need to update inventory levels while on the road. First, you need to prepare a web account so you can access Inventoria through a browser. To do this, click the Options icon in the toolbar and click on the Web Accounts tab. Click Add to create a new user account. Enter a display name, an email address, and a password for yourself. Make sure the Account Enabled checkbox is checked, and then give yourself Administrator User Privileges, which gives you full access to the web interface with the ability to manage other users, create and modify items, orders, and customer and supplier lists, and to view all reports. You may want to limit the access you give to other users when setting up their accounts later on. Click OK to finish. Now click the Web Access tab of the Options window. Click the Start button to activate the server so you can access it from a browser. The server must always be on for web access to work. You may see messages asking you to click Unblock or Allow if your computer prompts you for access. Make sure you allow this or Inventoria will not be available at other computers and devices. Once the server is started, determine if you will be accessing Inventoria on a local network or a public network. For a local network, create user accounts for each person as described earlier. Then share the link shown for the local network here. And when they log onto the web interface, they will be able to access Inventoria from their own computers. If you'll be accessing Inventoria on a public network, like the internet, you must ensure the routing section of this window does not show a red status error. If it does, you'll need to resolve the error before Inventoria will be available from the internet. This most likely will involve forwarding port 97 through your router and firewalls throughout your system. For help doing this, click the link that says Help to resolve this issue in the routing section. There you'll find a series of tutorials aimed at troubleshooting your connection problems. If the routing status is green, Inventoria will be available to other users when they paste the network access link into a browser and log in with their user account details. To access the web interface, you can use the links provided on the Web Access tab of the Options dialog, or click the Web Access icon in the toolbar. This will open up a browser window where you'll be prompted to enter your account details to log in. You can use the same link to gain access to the Web Access of Inventoria from your mobile phone. Once you're logged in, you'll be on the main page of the web interface. From here, you can do the same tasks as you can do on the main interface of Inventoria, such as add and manage items and orders, customers, suppliers, and locations, and view reports. Let's go through a few of these so that you get the hang of how the web interface works. Click on the Items link. You'll see a list of all the items in your inventory. To modify items, use the icons on the right side of each listing to add to an item's inventory, sell inventory, edit the item properties, or transfer quantities to another location. To add a new item, click the New Item button. This brings up the Add New Item screen. Enter all the information like you would in Inventoria's main interface, and click Record to save. To return to the main online interface, click the main link in the upper right corner. Now click on the Orders link. You'll see a list of all the orders you have submitted to your suppliers. You can view recorded orders, draft orders, see all orders, or view recurring orders by selecting one of the tabs. To create a new order, click the Add New Order button from any of these tabs. This brings up the Add New Order screen. Note that unlike the main interface of Inventoria, you will have to enter new suppliers into the system before you can select them from the New Order web interface. Fill out the new order information from top to bottom. When the details are complete, you can save the order as a PDF, as a draft, as a recurring order, or you can simply just record the order. To receive an order, click the Receive icon on the right side of the order listing on the Display Recorded tab. You'll be asked to confirm the receipt. Click Yes and the status of the order will be updated to Received and the item's inventory total will be updated. 
The customer and supplier's links work nearly the same on the web interface. Let's click on the supplier's link. You'll see a list of all your suppliers here. To enter a supplier's information, click the edit icon on the right side of the listing. To add a new supplier, click the add new supplier button, then fill out the supplier's information. Click OK to save. Back on the main screen, click on the reports link to open the reports list. You'll see a list of all the kinds of reports available in Inventoria. Clicking on any of these links will generate a PDF of the report. And that's how you use the web interface of Inventoria. Feel free to explore all the functions as you use them in the main interface and enjoy the access you have to your data no matter where you're at. For more business software solutions from NCH Software, visit the address shown on your screen.